thank you very much for watching my video and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button. I know I haven't made video for a long time. I was injured and it's been like close to four weeks now that I have pain in my uh, right arm. Um, the thing is, it's really hard to work on cars when um, you have injury. That's why I'm glad I have this YouTube channel when I'm at this age because when I'm like 80 year old, I don't have the strength and probably I'll be uh, in a lot of pain when I'm old. But anyway, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to bleed uh, the brake fluid on your VW Tiguan. That's right. Uh, this thing will work on Passat, Golf, Beetle, any VWs, even Audis. Uh, what you need is the Moto, I mean Motif, European, this is for a uh, European car, BMW, Mercedes, uh, VW, so you need this uh, pump, they call it a Motif Power Bleeder. I'll, I'll put the link in the description where you can buy it. And for VW, the only thing that you want to do for Audi, you need uh, Volkswagen and Audi brake fluid. This is the only brake fluid that you will have to use. For Mercedes, I don't know, you may have to Google it. But for Audi and VW, this fluid comes from Audi and VW dealer. So uh, you may need uh, four of them. And you need tools. You need like a socket here. Uh, I think it's seven millimeter. Uh, or we'll see what it is. I forgot. You need jack. And you need, you know, something to remove the tire. So yeah, anyway. Oh, another thing I forgot. You, you need, they call it uh, meaty fact. Um, extractor what you want to do is uh, come here Brenda uh, the, the brake fluid is located right there you want to empty the old one first be, be, before you can put the new one so what happened is you want to just make sure you got fresh fluid right here before we push the old one out so anyway uh, it's very important to bleed your brake because what happened brake fluid uh, absorb moisture and when it has too much moisture, it'll become a corrosive, acidic. It will start uh, breaking the brake lines. You know, like some people telling me their brakes are leaking because I know it because they don't bleed their brake fluid uh, regularly. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to maintain uh, your brake fluid. It's not that hard as long as you have the right tools. Again, get the power bleeder. It's not expensive. And you get the extractor and the tools that you need. Oh, by the way, you need this. You need jack stand because you need to remove the tire. So anyway, last number one. Come here, Renan. My daughter is here to help me. Uh, she's been a great help. You want to remove the brake fluid uh, cover right there. Whoop. Hold on. And then just put it aside. On that side okay with this one it's really helpful to have like paper towel just uh, you want to put the paper towel around this area right here because if you spill something it'll, it will catch it right there so what you want to do next is you want to empty look it's really dirty right now you want to get the meaty fat right here the meaty fat you want to just dip it right there and now we tighten it and we suck the old brake fluid there you go just look at that how dirty it is suck it all dry do you see that this oh look 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 when i come here show them this is very toxic so you be careful you need to have gloves actually i need my uh safety goggles. glasses yeah my goggles just put it here for now hold on i'll be back i'm just gonna get my safety goggles right there okay this is very important i forgot to tell you because you don't want the brake fluid to splash in your eye you can be blind or it can cause serious eye injury so what goggles 
So again, let's suck some more fluid and see if we can get more from the reservoir. Keep sucking it up. Look at that. We have a lot. Mm -mm. Make sure the reservoir is empty first before we bleed it. This way it will be faster to bleed the brick with the power bleeder. There you go, hold up. Let's see if I can get some more. Oh my goodness, there's still more. Look at that, Brenna. So that's a lot. Yeah, this way, what, what's gonna happen is you don't wanna contaminate the, the, the clean brake fluid with the old one. You wanna make sure that uh, the the clean one that I'm about to put won't be contaminated with the old one so I'm just gonna make sure this thing is really empty there you go now make sure you wipe the area around it like all this stuff yeah. now we're ready to come here Brenna we want to get this connector. See this? And then you want to connect it to the brake. Come here, brother. Can they see it? It's right here. So you want to tighten. Oh, sorry. No, hold on. Uh, I'll be back, brother. Hi, everyone. I'm back. What you need is a funnel. So you want to put it there. We're going to put... Let's grab one... Uh, Brake fluid, see? Brake fluid. That's the part number. B0075. Don't worry about it. I'll put, it's a dot four. So make sure the brake fluid is still sealed. The thing is, this means that it hasn't been contaminated by the air. It hasn't have, it hasn't absorbed moisture yet. You can't, once you open this, you cannot reuse. You have to discard it. So you want to open this. And then put the new one and we will bleed, bleed the rest don't worry about it whoop, 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 whoop. not too much there you go see that's why the tissue paper is really helpful because it will actually cut some of the fluid you have to do it really slow There you go, hold on. Okay. Now, we can put, uh, now we can put the rest of the fluid in this, you just open it up. You need like uh, three bottles. Uh, I have a big one. See? What you want to do? You want to... There you go. You want to fill it up. Look at that, how clean it is. That's what brake fluid is supposed to look like when it's clean. The thing is, after a while it will absorb like moisture, dirt and all that stuff. And it's not good. It will really totally ruin your uh, brake system. The brake line and all that stuff will be corroded. So what you want to do, let's just put it down here. So you want spill by accident. You just have to... Yeah, I got a bigger bottle, if you notice. So...
this is very toxic it's very dangerous to your eyes so be really careful that's why wear goggles and gloves yeah it, it, it takes a lot and it, the, the fluid is not that expensive yeah once you open it you cannot reuse it this is it you know it's really hot right now in Virginia so uh, hold on I'll be back I'm gonna Whew, really really hot the weather is like uh, 95 degree today so I don't know why I picked this this afternoon to do it because it's super super hot so you want to do you you close this one make sure it's still tight right there and then we're gonna uh, let's move things out of the way Whoop. let's move all this stuff out of the way what you want to do is get your jack come here brother actually no you, you don't want that let's connect this because what happened is it'll be too high then it's really hard to reach so you wanna and we are not very tall people too no, we're not so <laughs> we're gonna screw this one show them brother make sure it's tight there you go. Yeah, we're not very tall people. So now it's you screw that one up. And hold on. Oh, it's really hot. It's super hot. Yeah, if you do car maintenance, oh make sure you do it probably early in the morning because at noon it's super hot. Yeah, I'm like sweating like crazy right now. So you wanna get your jack. Actually no, let's get loosen the The lug nut. First, you know, there you go. Then loosen it up. It's not that hard to do this. There you go. Yeah, you want to do like all four brake lines front, back, back, front. It doesn't matter. Uh, some people like. To do it in order i like to do it this side first then i go to the back and then to this side so some people like to do it like zigzag this way that way this way and that way but i just want to show you how to do it now that the lug nut is loose you want to get this uh, if you watch my previous video pw has a that arrow right there that's where you jack it up. Uh, could you move, darling? And I have the jackpot right here. So I'm gonna be using. So. Make sure. There you go. Now we're in business. I don't trust just regular jack. You need a jack stand. Okay. Now it's just leave it here. And then could you move it, darling? Yeah, you gotta remove the wheel. So this is not that hard. If you watch my other video on how to jack the car, it's really really simple. It's not hard at all. Yeah, this thing probably is going to take you around 45 minutes to an hour. It just, it, it's not hard, it's just time consuming. Because there are four brake lines that you have to do. And you cannot wait until the next day. Because that brake fluid is going to catch moisture. If you want to do it, you have to do it in one day. 
You can't you cannot be like oh I'm gonna do this side and the next side. Hold on. That's a DIY. Okay, now the wheels off. Oh, could you move it that way? Look this way. Let's put it aside. I'm gonna get my paper towel. Okay, it's really, really hot. So, in order, okay, this is where the brake line is. Ready, Ben? Come on. It's right here. Do you see that? You just have to unplug the cup right there. And that's the. Oh, could you move with that? I need to. There. So don't lose this one. Just put it right here. So I think it's number seven. Oh, yeah, it's right here. It is number seven. Okay, make sure you put the wrench first, like that, and then you want to get your bleeder bottle. Yes. You need a bleeder bottle. This is will catch the old um, brake fluid. Look at this, man. You want to make sure. Put it on the nipple right there. And then come the up here, better. With this one, you want to put, look at this here. Uh, eight, nine to 10 pressure. Here we go, hold on. Did you move it, darling? I need, I need my, there you go. Now you're gonna put pressure. Make sure it doesn't go above 10. Let's put it, nine PSI. There you go, see that? The fluid start to... The thing is, if you do too much, it will blow. Okay, that's it. Nine PSI, and then come here, Brenna. Down here. Now, you release it slowly. Look at this. Oop. You release this slow, very slowly, right here. And watch this. There. See that, watch. <laughs> now you're really bleeding the brakes now there you go do you see that it's very simple now yeah it's gonna take a while Yeah, what happens is once you hit uh, 9 to 10 PSI, that's you, you want to lock it. That's it. You lock it. There. Now, it's look. You start to fill up now. See that? And make sure when the fluids start to become clean, that's when you stop it looks like it's clean now do you see that because what happened I already cleaned the fluid on the top so now once this one start to clear up do you see that uh -huh. now you tighten it up again well, let's tighten it Hold on, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more. Looks like. Okay. 
Okay, I think it's good. See that? It become really clear. Now you can tighten it up. When and not too much. And be careful. This thing is gonna and pinch it right here quick because you don't want it to splash. And then just let it go. There you go. Now we're done with this side. We're gonna go to the other side. Uh, I'll be back. Hi everyone. Like I said, I like to do it uh, on this side first, and I'll go to the other side. Uh, the back uh, part, the cover is a little bit different. The front one is harder to remove, but this looks like this, so you remove it from there. And again, uh, don't forget to mount the wrench here first. Same uh, seven millimeter. Oops, sorry. Oh, got stuck there. Hold on, there we go. And then this one is a bit tight because there's a. And then again, and then connect the bottle, the nipple. It's the same procedure. I like to do the, the rear, right rear, because it's the farther one. And then I'll go to the left rear. Uh, this is how I sequence it. Some people do it differently, but this is how I do it. There you go. Now it's the nipple is, and you, no, watch this. Ready? So I'm gonna release the brake. There you go. There. There you go. Do you see that, Brenda? It's coming out really slow. So it's out. There you go. It's really slow. You don't have to open it too much. There. If the pressure is low, because this is like the farther one, probably need more pressure, you just have to adjust the. Um, Motive. Hold on. Come here, Brenna. Okay, so it, it's still at nine. It's fine. Now, look at that. That's the dirty one. You have to watch carefully. And this is really interesting. You can do this at home. And it doesn't take much to do it. It's just time consuming. See that? That's still brown. Then you want to make sure. Could you move it, darling, so I can see the difference? really hard to see this again wear goggles okay, it's, it's still going I think it's, we're gonna be good the thing is I fill up the the reservoir with a clean one so it makes the bleeding faster see that getting clearer I think it's getting clear now okay so I'm gonna start tightening it a bit yep. yeah that's why I like to empty the reservoir first so it won't take too long yeah some people just connect the motif right away with a a little bit more. Let me see. Ooh, it's, it's very hot here, but I love you guys. That's why I'm teaching you how to do this. There you go. I think now it's time to tighten it back. Um. Yeah, the rear one is really pain in the rear. <laughs> um, keep the goggles on. I know. Sorry. Thank you. Sometimes I forget, and Brianna is like reminding me, hey, put your safety goggle on, or because accident happened. And there you go, it's very, almost full.
Yeah, this is really tight. That's why it's hard. Is it just me or something's leaking over there? Where? No, it's not. No, over there. Way over there. Where? No, it's not. That's fine. It's the water okay. condensation. Okay. Yeah, the rear one is really, really difficult because you don't get that much space to work on. I'll be back. This is really hard. Hi everyone, we're now at the rear right, so from the rear, I'm gonna do the rear front, and after this, uh, we're done. So look at this. Now, see that? How clean it is. So yeah, we're almost done. After this, then you're good to go. Your brake fluid will be fresh, and you have to do it again. I think every uh, 15 to 20 thousand miles. So it's not that hard, right? It's just time consuming. It's hard. It's hot. So, but anyway, uh, I'll be back and we're gonna finish up the rest. Love you guys. Hi everyone, I'm back. I think this is gonna be the last one. We just did the back one, you know what to do. So I'm just gonna do the front one. This is gonna be the last one. It's not that hard. As long as you got the motive, the brake fluid pump right there, and brake fluid uh, bleeder bottle, and seven millimeter wrench. So you should be okay. Look, now I'm just gonna open the, the line slowly. Actually, no, hold on, it's this way. Because the other side is different. Uh, this is why VW is so weird. Uh, and this is different. Nah, there you go. Oh, look at that, it's so dirty. See that, all the... <laughs> did you see that? Did you see, Brandon? Did you catch that? I catch that. All that dirt. See that dirt? Holy cow. Woo! This is why you need to uh, bleed your line. Because all that dirt and moisture oh my goodness look at that did you see that yep oh my goodness look how brown it is and look at the particle that thing will ruin your brake big time mm -hmm. right here oh my goodness i mean yeah that's what you you want you want those uh particle and dirt to be bleed out of this look at this it looks so much better actually. Uh -huh. Because I already put like fresh fluid in the reservoir, so it won't take long to do this. I'm just glad that. Yeah, this is okay. It won't take very long to bleed this one. Yeah, this one looks pretty clear. Let me see. Oh, look, it's clean already. But <laughs> it's, it, do you see what I mean? This is why brake fluid has to be bleed, not to be bled, because um, because all the dirt, the moisture just got uh, absorbed into the brake fluid, and you're gonna have a lot of brake problems, like brake lines breaking, cor uh, corrosion, and all that stuff. So you have to uh, bleed your brake fluid, not just the oil. Now look, now it's getting clearer so we can tighten it up and that's it I think good so you don't have to do it and then again when you disconnect this make sure you pinch the what the somewhere here so you won't splash all over your eyes or your face 
when you unplug it gently, there you go. Now let it drain. So anyway, that's all you have to do. Again, what you need, again, come here, Brenner. You need the, the motive um, brake fluid uh, bleeder. And again, you got it, it comes with the uh, bleeder bottle and you need jack stand tool. Uh, you, all you need is seven millimeter wrench right here. And again, you need the meaty facts. I put everything in the in the description. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up and share this video to the VW clubs, to your friends, if you want to teach them how to do the brake bleeding uh, themselves. So anyway, love you guys. Again, please click the subscribe button. Your support uh, is very meaningful to me. Yeah, today is a hard day. I got injuries, but I still want to do this video because I haven't done it for a while. So I want to teach you guys how to do it. Anyway, love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm back. I almost forget to tell you. For any brake job, don't forget to what bleed the brake. Now what you do, you want to press the brake until it feels okay. Now it's good now. Now it's time to um, conclude the video. Make sure you beat the brake to make sure you know the uh, brake pressure and the brake fluid is being distributed. Again, uh, you may want to check the reservoir and it should be full. There is a max. Come here, Brenna. Um, once you're done with it, there is an indicator right there. Can you show them, Brenna? It's called max right there. Can, can, can they see it? Yes. There, max. See that? No, no, go this way. There you go, max. Right there. It will show you where the brake fluid is. So once you're done with it, your car is done. Anyway, again, guys, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs, like, uh, thumbs up. Love you guys. Bye.